There's a lot of power in this little package. Is this really it? Is this the Hadley? This is a Hadley just like the one that flew at Strata Launch. So we're standing in the assembly line for our Hadley engine. This was our first product. This is actually the product that took us from space to hypersonics. This is the assembly line. This is where all of the engines are hand built. We have engineers that are designing or looking at test data. We have about 100 yards from us, a facility where the engines are tested. We actually fire every engine before it goes to a customer. Talent A is designed to be reusable, hence the Hadley rocket engine is also designed to be reusable. How does the reliability play in? We think about reliability of an engine kind of in two paths. One is, can the engine be reused many times? And Hadley was designed to be reused probably for more missions than any other rocket engine flying today. But reliability also means how safe and usable is the engine. And on a vehicle like Talon that's flying underneath rock, you require a high level of reliability to ensure just safety and handling is part of the design as well. You learn a lot about your engine in any flight testing. The more you fly, the more data you collect, the more you understand how your engine operates on the ground versus in these environments. With this hypersonic test flight specifically, launching from the air posed an enormous challenge. A liquid rocket engine likes to be very stationary, very stable when it ignites. So igniting on a hypersonic vehicle after it's dropped from a carrier aircraft should help improve hypersonic engines. It should help improve our space engines in the future.